Okay, I'm going to show how to export um, your frames to individual files. So every file will be a frame. And that can be imported into the game engine, into Unity. Um, so I'm going to pick an animation, let's say the walk animation. So I select that one, and I'm going to play it. There we go. Um, so I just want to make sure I have the right animation. I'll just stop that. And so to do that, I'm going to click up here on the spine logo and choose export. And there's many options in this. Um, the one that I want is the PNG option. Um, and you should set, let's see if I have, if I have them all correct here. Um, you can do the current animation, so the one that I have selected right now, um, or you can pick one right here. If you select this uh, tick mark, then you can drop it down and pick whichever one you want. And then you can also do all. Um, if you change something and you want to do them all at once, I think that's a very handy thing to do. Um, and it just gets them all done at once. But for now, I'm just going to do one. It won't take as long. And you want to make sure that you have um, a folder selected. Uh, usually, you know, I'm going to pick the folder that is um, one level below the folder that I'm in. So this one is Spine Boy, PNG, and then it requires that you give it a name. I've already done one before, so that's why this is in here. So your name would just look like Spine Boy Pro um, Walk if you're just doing the walk. Um, if you're doing all of them, you just name it with the base name, so it'd be Spine Boy Pro. And then it's going to add on the name of all of the other uh, animations. So it would add on walk, it would add on run, add on jump. So then it would be like Spine Boy dash pro dash jump. It would do it automatically. So right now I'm just going to do the, um, it would be just the walk one. And for now, I'm just going to do a new folder because I'm just, I don't want to mess up the ones I already have. I'm just going to call this the test folder. So test, um, my boy pro walk. And I'm going to save it. And that just puts it in the path right there. And you can just type it right in here if you wanted to change it also. Um, so what I want it to render is no bones, images, others, no. Uh, linear filtering, yes. That's going to make it look a little bit nicer, um, smoothing out any kind of rough pixelization. Um, you can even get a preview of it. Um, if you see, if you uncheck this, it's a little bit more blocky. And if I check it, it gets smoother. So you definitely want that on. Uh, multiple sample. If you find we're getting bad quality, you could always bump it up a level, I think. Um, it seems to be fine when I choose none. Um, viewport crop, no. I just want it to do um, the crop as close to the edge of the image as possible. Because if I hit this, well, I don't think it's hurting it there. But um, there's some of these that make it a little crazy. Um, let's see, crop. This allows you to do your own crop. There we go. So that's what we could do if we wanted to. But And then it puts these numbers here based on what you size it as. So we're not going to do crop, no crop. Um, scale, it can be 100%. Um, see, scale to fit. Um, you could fit it within a certain area. Let's just say we're working on a something that's 256 by 256. And let's see if we get 100% zoom. That's the actual size of it. If we click that to get 100%, this allows, we can zoom in and out of this to see what we're getting. You know, it's a little bit pixelized. And then, but at 100%, that's what it looks like. So it might work on some games to do that. For ours, we're just going to do um, scale 100% for now. Might change that later. Um, Frames, range, you could put in a range if you want to. 
by default, it's going to do all of the frames. You can also see that by um, clicking through these right here. And you can also drag this to see it in motion. Um, transparent, yes, we want that. Otherwise, we're going to end up with a white background. It's not going to work in our game. Compression, I think medium is probably fine. Unless we have quality issues, we might want to change that. Frames per second, that should be what it is already set at. So I'm not going to mess with that. Um, playback includes last frame. Um, I'm going to show you the, the pop-up tip on this to explain it. When unchecked, the last frame of each animation is omitted. Um, the reason that is, is for when you do a complete cycle, um, like, let's see. So let's look at this front foot, right? And we're going to cycle through until this front foot is back over there. And it's at the last frame. It may have already been omitted in the, let's see. Um, I'll include it now. And there it is, right there. So to include it means we have a double frame. That's why you omit it. So you omit it, and it has a nice cycle to it. Because if we didn't, it would have a bit of a stutter. As you saw that, you'd see that frame twice. So um, texture atlas, we're not going to do that right now. Um, that's something else. So you definitely want to uncheck texture atlas. All right, so what we're going to, this should be all correct for exporting multiple files, one for each frame. So now I'm going to hit export. Export complete. Now, did I miss something? Oops. Let me see. Um, open after export. That's what I wanted to do. That way it opens up for me. I'm just going to do it again. And now we have it opened up my file manager for me so I can see the files. And there they are. It's nice and neat. It was really, really fast. Um, let me bring this over here. And I can scroll through and see each file. So each one is a different file. It named it just like I said to name it. Spineboard Pro Walk with a number at the end of the frame. See? So that's how you do it. All of the files oh, I'll just show, are here. And I can port those uh, directly into Unity.